Today we're going to have a go at making our very own red arrow kite. So first of all you'll need to either have some coloured paper or download one of our kite templates from our website. We've got a coloured version of our red arrow and a black and white version. You then also might like some colours. You'll need some sellotape and some scissors, a wooden skewer, a lollipop stick, some wool or string, a hole punch and some coloured tissue paper to make your tassels. If you've printed off our template, your first job will be to cut all the way around the printed rectangle shape. If you're planning on colouring your template in, it's best to do that before you start folding as well. Now I'm going to show you how to make your kite using the template and also using the coloured card at the same time. So the first job we need to do on both of these different types of kites is fold them in half from the top down to the bottom. And our printed templates, the printed bits, will be sandwiched into the middle. So I'm going to bring that edge down, follow this dotted line. And the same on this one if you're not using our templates. There we go. Now we're going to be folding our paper again. This time we'll be using different folds on each side. We're going to fold them back on themselves. Now in our printed templates we've got another set of dotted lines for us to follow. I'm going to fold this one up. You'll be able to match up the plain picture all the way along that dotted line. There's one side and then flip it over and do exactly the same thing on the other side. There we are. Now in this one we're going to use the same sort of thing. So we're going to fold our card up and you should see a little triangle here and a little triangle at the top as well. So fold one side up, turn it over and you'll be able to fold this side up and match it to the one that we've just folded. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to flatten one side so that we can see that complete picture. Do the same on this one. Open one of those sides up. And you're going to want to put a piece of sellotape down this join to stop it from coming undone. One for this side. Make sure you've done your colouring before you stick your sellotape on. There we go. Now to give your kite extra strength we're going to use our wooden skewer and this is going to go on top of our kite at the edge that is the widest. So this part is wider than this part of our kite so I'm going to stick this on here. It's a little bit too long for this one so I snapped it off the end. And that will get stuck on here or if you don't want it to cover up your plane you could put it in the middle. Make that a bit shorter. That would also work and give it a bit of extra strength. And on the green one, you can put it there as well. Stick that on. So I'm only going to do one of them. I'm just going to use some cell tape to keep our wooden skewer in place. Now on my coloured version of this kite, I actually coloured my wooden skewer in red before I stuck it down so it wasn't as obvious on top of my red arrow. Now one of the last jobs we need to do is we need to put a hole punch on the underside of our kite. This is where our string is going to attach. So I've already done it on this one. You can see my hole punch here. So you've got one end that's skinnier than the other. And we're going to put our hole punch at the skinny end. There we go, as high up as I can get it. This is where we're going to attach our string. Now we've still got our lollipop stick and I've got a ball of wool. Now I'm going to cut a length of wool that I can attach to my little hole punch that I've just made and some extra to wind around our stick. This will be our handle for our kite. Think how I might do two arms length of wool. 
I'm going to tie one end to my kite through the little hole. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to put a double knot in to make sure it doesn't come undone. And the other end, I'm going to tie onto my wooden lolly stick. We can then wrap the wool round so that it doesn't get all tangled up. And your kite is almost ready to fly. There we go. Now our kite will fly now, if we wanted it to, but you could also add some tassels before you go outside. Now I'm going to add my tassels on this side so that it looks like there's smoke coming out the back of my red arrows. So I've just got some tissue paper here because it's very, very light and we don't want to add too much weight to our kite, otherwise it might not fly. I'm going to put two strips on each side, I think, with some sellotape to keep them in place. There we go. Our kite's now ready to test. Take it outside on a slightly gentle breeze day and you can fly your kite and see your red arrow flying up in the sky.